Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and uh, talking about blue screens of death um, that can plague Windows users. One of the most common cause of this is outdated drivers. So when you right click in your start menu, you can go into the device manager. This contains all the different hardware device that Windows needs to run in order for your PC to actually work well. So for example, there's display adapters, uh, there's, uh, you know, this is, it contains everything that is a hardware, including your keyboard, your mouse, printer, and, and so on. One of the problems of uh, drivers is the fact that a bad driver can easily cause blue screens. Two ways that you can maybe have a hint of what it is. For example, when there's a blue screen error message, sometimes you will have a hint of maybe something happening. For example, you could say uh, print spooler error of some sort. It could say uh, display something. The, the words used sometimes give you a hint of the type of error, what device caused the instability of your, your, your instability of your windows. And so you can check that out. Also, um, often it contains an error code, a very cryptid error code, where it's going to say, well, you know, 0x, 0cc, uh, 000a, F, you know, and uh, with, of course, a wording of something went wrong, you know. Um, what you could do is try to Google this and see where these results bring you and what do these results seem to point to. It happens that you can actually kind of pinpoint, okay, it seems that that error is created by this device. Of course, many times you might just not have any um, information or not enough to really know. I do not um, usually tell people to upgrade their drivers unless there's a problem because one of the biggest problems with drivers is it might be you have a good driver and you upgrade it to a bad driver and now you have blue screens that you didn't have before. But if you do have blue screens, uh, updating drivers is one thing that you should definitely try. Now, how do you do this? Depending on what driver it is, you can actually click on the device. For example, here's my Intel UHD. You can click driver. It's going to tell you the date of the driver. So this driver is dated uh, 28th May of uh, 2019. And you click update driver and see what it tells you. Search automatically for drivers and see what it does. If it tells you the best driver is already installed, well, that might not be the only way that you have. For example, here, Intel, you can go onto the Intel page for graphics adapter and update with their own drivers. And actually, there poss possibly will be an updated driver to it. Some drivers are updated externally, like this one. For example, NVIDIA GeForce, this driver is dated 14 of September 2020. That means that there's something else maybe available, and probably there is. Uh, this one would be upgraded, of course, with the NVIDIA website. If you have a brand computer, if it's not something you built yourself, uh, an Acer, a Lenovo, a, um, you know, a Dell, an HP, go to your manufacturer's website, check your own model number and in that model number you can actually find the latest drivers for your computer made by the manufacturer and that might have drivers that are actually more recent than the ones that you have that's why checking out the uh, dates of the uh, drivers is nice because by looking at the date of the driver installed you actually might have an idea if there's a more recent driver available on your device. So this is something that you could check out 
and make sure that uh, it's updated to the latest drivers. Drivers are a big, big part of Windows and uh, they are a big part of blue screens of that. So upgrading drivers is also something very uh, important. Also take note of the devices you're using. Does a blue screen happen only when you use your external hard drive? Does a blue screen happen only when you print? Sometimes you have a hint, you know, when you use your webcam, that kind of pinpoints in a direction. It tells you, oh, when I use my webcam, I blue screen all the time. Well, it could be a webcam issue, hardware, driver. These are all things you need to look at. But if you do have blue screens, make sure you get the latest driver of everything that your computer has uh, to offer to you because that might actually fix some of these problems. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.